Hello, my favorite artists. Today we are going to be learning about an art movement called Surrealism and an artist named Rene Magritte. Surrealism was an art movement that happened between the 1920s and the 1960s. It was a journey to understand our dreams, our imagination, and to push creativity. Surrealism literally means over or above realism. These artworks are usually described as looking crazy or really funky, interesting. They look like dreams or something that could only appear in our imagination. This artwork by Rene Magritte is called The False Mirror. This is what we're going to be recreating today in our own way. This is the basic steps of how we are going to create our surrealist eye, so let's get started. To make my eye, I'm starting out by creating a very big curve. It starts about in the middle of the page and it goes up and around all the way to the other side of the page. Now I'm creating a small little curve for the tear duct of my eye. Once I have that tear duct shape, I'm going to connect that to the other side of my eye. It's still a curved line, but it's not as curved as the top. Now I'm drawing in the iris of my eye, and I do that by making a really big U shape. Now I'm drawing in a small circle in the middle of my iris and coloring in completely black. This is what's called the pupil, or the part of your eye that focuses on things. Once I have my pupil all colored in, I'm going to draw another curved line right on top of our first curved line, and that's going to be our eyelid. Now it's time for the really fun part. All in the iris of our eye, we are going to draw something that we love doing or something that means a lot to us. So for me, I'm going to be drawing a bunch of different art supplies because art is so important to me. If you like basketball, you could draw a basketball. Or if you like going to the park or playing games or your family, this can be anything that means something to you. This is just your time to be creative and think of something that you want to draw here, I've sped up a clip of me drawing the rest of the art supplies in my iris. I chose to do a lot of art materials that are smaller and fill up the iris shape that way, but you can draw one big thing in the middle of your iris as well. I ended up drawing a watercolor palette, paintbrush, a pencil, a crayon, a glue bottle, some scissors, and a big paint palette. Once you have everything drawn in pencil, it's time to get started coloring it. So I ended up outlining all of my items in a black pen and then used crayon to color in each item. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, watercolor paint, whatever you have you can use. I chose to color in the background of my iris green because I have green eyes, but you can color it whatever color eyes you have. And now I'm doing the outside of my eye. I chose to do watercolor for this because I think it makes it look really dreamy, but you can color it however you would like. Here is what my finished surrealist eye looks like. I cannot wait to see what yours looks like and what you choose for the middle of your eye.